Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where last episode we did a little bit of conquest and we're going to do a little bit more here. So we have access to this guy and we should definitely go ahead and raise our men at arms. Do we need any additional troops? Honestly, I don't think we do. I think our men at arms are good enough on their own. So this guy's going to siege out over here. I don't know that we care about that. We're just going to walk in and take his castle here. Take that capital. We do get a new stewardship perk, and we could definitely grab either... Well, any of these would actually be good. I think it was my domain would be best. So we'll go ahead and do that in terms of income. Cool. Don't worry. I'll have everyone pay. And we're going to finish up this siege quite quickly. Those bombards really doing work at this point. Cool. So I was hoping that that would end the war. Unfortunately, it brought us to 62%. This castle should end the war. And that castle should be sieged incredibly quickly. Well, 30 days. I guess that's not incredibly quickly, but pretty quickly. Cool. So we'll go ahead and siege this, and that should end the war. And indeed it does. We'll enforce our demands and disband our troops, and this guy is now under our control. We would very much like to demand his conversion. We'll just try sending him a gift to boost his opinion of us and then demanding conversion. 77% chance. So that would be nice. Next, we can go after this guy, but we are truce to him. There's this guy that we can go after de jure. But it's only the one sheikdom. The prince here, of course, has a claim, but he would become independent because that's the entire kingdom. What about this guy? Nothing. We've got nothing on this guy. Okay. Noted. And then down over here, these are claims only on the Sultanate, which does not help us. And on Sao, does not help us. Okay. So how many total counties do we need now? Seven is the answer. We now need seven additional counties. We can get one here. We're truced with this guy right now, but this is a de jure. We can get one here. This is also de jure. So that gives us two. This would potentially, if we were able to get this under our control. Interesting. I don't think we'll be able to do that, but we'll see what we can do as far as getting this under our control. If we were able to do that, that would get us four of the seven counties that we need. Four out of seven. I'm sure there are others that we can get, but before we tick on forward and proceed with our machinations there, let's make our way around. This guy's Russian, preventing us from upgrading. But let's make our ways around and make sure that all of this is upgrading. We have a decent amount of cash at this moment, and I would definitely like to spend it if at all possible. If at all possible. So let's see what we've got here. There's definitely a barracks to be built here. Cool. A number of upgrades to be built over this direction, which was reasonably expected. Uh, let's see. These are maxed out at this point. That's all looking good. We can definitely upgrade our military camps in Fez. That is certainly something that we want to do. And we can upgrade here as well. That should bring us a pretty, pretty much out of cash for the moment. I would like to get this upgrade going. We'll do that as soon as the month tick happens. So we'll take on forward here. Sure, he did actually convert. That's excellent. And we'll upgrade this. Sure, show in the Sheik. And he will bring us 25 renown. Beautiful. Okay, so we now get the levying squares going. I want to make sure that our heir converted back with us. He did. Fantastic. So that's good to know. And this ransom seems acceptable to me. I do want to attack this guy basically now. Going after the emirate is is actually kind of pointless, I think. Well, it only costs us 80. It costs us the same amount. We'll go after the emirate here. So we'll go ahead and declare that. And we will raise up our troops here. Do we need... How many troops are we going to need? He calls in a holy order. He's got like 15,000 right now. Okay. I'm not too concerned about that. So we're just going to head on in, grab our ticking war score. Allah will judge these sinners, I'm sure. Cool. And now we will tick on forward here, getting our ticking war score, and let's take over their areas over here. Beautiful. 
Okay, they have this by default sieged, so that's fine. <laughs> We're confused, sure. That's a normal state of existence for us, so no problem whatsoever there. And we'll finish up this war pretty soon here. Ticking war score is on our side. These sieges will go pretty quickly. No real problem. Cool, we gained some piety. We're going to need more piety, I suspect. We're at 41% war score right now. And this is looking good. So this will be our next destination. Three months? Okay. 64% war score. These guys are sieging down here. That's going to get them a little bit of war score back. But to be honest, not very much. It's not going to be super useful for them. We can lawfully imprison this cannibal. We'll give it a go. The cannibal is imprisoned. Perfect. So, they did finish up their siege here, and we're now at 57% war score. Noted. Back up to 66, and we're just going to continue to siege through here. These guys are sieging quite slowly, so I'm not too concerned about this. Okay. 76. Looking good. Mm, we could go with, like, a mason's workshop. But I don't know that that's all that great, actually. Well, holding taxes are good. Yeah, we'll go for the jeweler's workshop. That'll be fine. Cool. A great investment. And from there, we are going to end this war. It's going to die from, or rather, end from ticking. The war is, I guess, going to die. Sure. That is one very dead war. <laughs> Fantastic. So we'll disband those troops. And at this point, we're still truced with this guy. Nothing we can do there. As far as this fine gentleman goes. This guy is his heir. Male only primogeniture. He has not had a male child. Noted. Do we have any claimants that are already in our territory? The answer is no. We can't directly invite any of those. That is forbidden by the rule set. So that's fine. We are truced with this fine gentleman here. I would like to go after potentially this guy. So, do we have any claimants that we can utilize here? Actually, yes, we do. But are these actually useful? Not really, is the answer. This guy has the same claims? Yeah, those are not useful claims. This lady has a claim. But that's also not useful. So, that's unfortunate. That is certainly a little bit unfortunate. I guess we can use this time to go through and make sure that all of our holdings are level 4. So, this castle could definitely use an upgrade. There we go. What else do we need here? Well, we'll just head up over this direction for the time being. Wrong type of holding. That's awkward. Nothing that we care about there, really, though. So we'll get this temple upgrading and this castle upgrading as well. And then we'll check our way over this direction. This should all be maxed out. Uh, sure, we'll attend this guy's feast. Cool. Okay, and let's just see what we've got in terms of upgrades over here. 10% chance of becoming a drunkard. We've had enough. Okay, uh, this guy is the wrong culture, or the, re or the county is. I think the county is. He's also the wrong culture. So we can't get that upgraded to level 4 at this time. But we can get this castle going. We can also grab ourselves Ergelt, and we'll go ahead and do that. Cool. Checking our way down this direction. This is a level 3 temple that we can get upgraded. This ransom seems acceptable. Anything else here? Zaidi is getting more fervent. Always good. And this temple can be upgraded. We are lacking cash for that right now. So we'll have to wait for another month tick, which seems okay. 
We'll get that going as soon as we can. There we go. And making our way over here, we've got another temple, a castle, a castle, a temple, a city. And there's a lot over here. We still can't construct here for whatever reason, but whatever. Okay, this ransom is acceptable. And we're currently about one month tick short of getting this temple upgrading. So we'll get that underway. There we go. And what else do we have? Yeah, show in this guy in his 50 gold. And his 50 renown. We will happily take his 50 renown. Next up is this castle upgrade. That's a ways away. We'll accept this ransom. And we should start thinking about machinations at this point. So we're truced with this guy. We're definitely going to declare on him. Out of curiosity... Interesting. He's got some claims down here that we could potentially utilize. So we need two more counties in the Sultanate of Africa. And for the Sultanate of Sahara, we need three. Before we can usurp that. Okay, noted. That's definitely going to get us an in. No doubt about that. We can create the Duchy of Zab. That doesn't really help us exactly. So we'll hold off on that for the moment. And we can pop down over this way where we know that we needed to upgrade this castle. So that's underway now. And this castle, this temple needed to be upgraded. The city did not. Okay. We just got ermine cloaks. Sure. And apparently our husband died. So it's extremely unlikely at this point that we have children. That's fine, I guess. We'll get remarried. Make sure that this guy is on managed domain, which he is. Unfortunately, we're at 11 out of 10 holdings. We hold something we shouldn't, don't we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No. Okay. Uh, that is problematic for sure. Really problematic. Unfortunate. I think we're like one stewardship skill away. Likely a rounding error. We declined this challenge for artifact. I really don't want to hand out another county. There we are. That makes me very sad. Very, very, very sad. So we're going to come out over this direction and upgrade this castle. There we go. And this temple will get upgraded shortly as well. We'll just need to save up some cash for that. I would love to see an opportunity to attack this guy. Unfortunately, it's not there right now. And this fine gentleman here we're truced to. For how much longer? 23 months is the answer. So that's a little while, for sure. Can we invite claimants? How long until we can do that? Not for another few years. Okay. So that's going to take some time. No doubt about that. Our innovations are underway here. We're on primogeniture and noblesse oblige. Sure, that's fine. Court officials would be pretty good. I would prefer court officials over noblesse oblige, but sure. Primogeniture in about six years. Now, do we want to change over with this guy being our heir? Perhaps not at this time. Sure, we'll attend this feast. Checking in on our succession. Yeah, that looks reasonably fine. So let's pop down over here and make sure that this temple is upgrading. The city was already upgraded. And we're just going to make our way up through here. That's the wrong culture. So there's not too much we can do there. But this temple... Yeah, that this whole county is the wrong culture, unfortunately. This castle can go to level 3, though. The city can get upgraded. This temple can get upgraded if it wasn't the butter culture. That's sad. A fallen rival, huh? Hmm... Good riddance. Okay. So 
so that'll be fine. We can get this temple upgrading. Cool. And potentially, uh, this is all going to be the wrong culture. Are we converting cultures right now? We actually are, but that's going to take 32 years. Because of nomads settling here. Can we get a better steward? This guy's really bad. Slightly better. <laughs> Shaves off two years. Convince de jure territory. The target county requires its ruler to hand it over to its de jure leash. That's new. I don't remember seeing that previously. In the older version of the game. That's actually really neat. Did we get that from an innovation? Maybe. I'm not sure what unlocked that. But that's really, really neat. That allows us to take things back like these much more simply. Okay, I can work with that. I can definitely work with that. A propaganda chronicle was destroyed. Sure. And we'll just make our way through over here. A lot of these are not able to be upgraded, which is unfortunate. We can certainly grab detailed ledgers here, and so we shall. And we'll attend this guy's feast. Absolutely. Cool. Continuing to upgrade holdings to level 4 where we can. A lot of these are not set up correctly, but we can get that one going. Cool. First in line to inherit this county. Okay. I'm not sure why that's the case. But sure. That's absolutely fine. So, we're going to hop over here again. Are we still truced with this guy? It can't be too much longer. He doesn't have reasons to accept our vassalage, of course. Now, this has been absorbed back into this kingdom. Slightly unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Who is this? Our vassal? Oh, we refuse to be distracted. Hang on. We have a claim here. I don't know where this claim came from. It wasn't here a bit ago. But we'll take that. As soon as our truce with these guys is up, we'll declare that for sure. An empty throne? Sure. We'll pay our court a visit. And let's see here. My poor eyes. Go ahead and nurture the genius. And they ate the royal pudding. Hmm. This is the only one that doesn't get us stress. So we'll go ahead and do that for now. Cool. I definitely... Oh, the succession occurred. So we can seize this duchy. He would become our vassal. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. So we'll raise up our troops right here. Just our men-at-arms for now. Apparently we can upgrade here. Let's go ahead and do that. Cool. It's level two. This is a level one castle. Yeah, we definitely want to get these level 1s upgraded. No doubt about that. There's an empty holding slot here. So we'll get this city building. There we go. Cool. And that should be reasonably fine. Excellent. So we'll get this siege down. We're already at 50%. This could end the war, this siege. It definitely could end the war. So we'll see what happens with that. And so it did. Fantastic. So we'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. Now we should have additional claims. So, not here. Yeah, that's the Sultanate there. And that's also the Sultanate. Okay, so we don't actually have claims. Noted. Yeah, pretty much the only thing that we can do here is this sheikdom. Now, we're still truce to this guy. And for how much longer? 21 months. Okay. That's slightly unfortunate, but it's fine. Checking in over here on Sao, we don't have any claims. Noted. Negotiate alliance, huh? Our brother? Sure. Why not? Okay. Sure, show in the Sheik. I accept your generous gifts. Fantastic. 
Okay, so we can continue to spend down our gold. We've got lots of places, I'm sure, that we can do that in. Like this temple holding. Fantastic. I'm guessing, yeah, this is butter culture over here, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I want to see up over this way. This is a level one temple. We'll get that upgrading. Cool. So level, oh, this is an unconstructed holding here. That does have to be a temple, so we'll get that underway. Fantastic. Level one city. Okay. <laughs> sure. So at this point, we've got a few months until we can attack Kairuan. I want to check in on the kingdom titles here. Now, we fully control Teher at this point. Kairuan, we need two additional counties. We will get one. And we'll have to do the conversion dance again, which we've almost got the piety for. That should be reasonably fine. We would be able to just do a pilgrimage in nine years. Okay, he was mortified by our perverse sense of humor. Sure, whatever. We gained a favor hook, always nice, and we can demand payment in exchange for that. Cool. Out over this direction, this temple can get upgraded, this castle can get upgraded, and this city can get upgraded. Beautiful. This is all occupied awkwardly down over here. Yeah, the whole thing is under occupation. We can't really do anything about that. What is going on with this war anyway? Okay, it's almost over. So that's good. Hang on. The Saharan claim on the Sultanate of Africa. Hmm. That's not necessarily a good thing. So this guy's going to get independence with all of this stuff. He's going to get the Sultanate of Africa. Yes. And he is our faith. Which will maybe make things slightly easier here. Hmm. I'm just thinking about potential options. So the his line of succession here would be first off is this guy. Secondly would be this guy. Hmm. This is going to be awkward, I think. I don't really see a way to prevent this from happening. The question is, how bad will it be? This guy will become independent, right? But will we have some claims? One or more holdings are occupied. Yeah. We could pull back these. What is the duchy over here? Okay. Noted. So he's going to get... He's claiming on the Sultanate of Sahara. Right? The Saharan claim on the Sultanate of Africa. Okay. Never mind. Other way around. I was correct the first time. Because I was like, hang on. If that's going to be the case, that's not relevant. But it is the case. And it is relevant. So he's going to get the Sultanate of Africa. The Sultanate of Africa will not be under our control directly. We'll still have footholds in it. In fact, almost nothing in the, the Sultanate of Africa will be under his control other than what is already not under our control. We're going to lose very little here, I actually think. So maybe this isn't a bad thing. I think we're going, going to lose very little. Fingers crossed. So we'll grab Golden Aplomb for the moment. And we should look at doing additional upgrades. 
We could just start spending on buildings in locations where we can't do regular upgrades, like holding upgrades. That would be fine. All we need to do, really, is spend our cash, right? So, uh, this is okay. We can actually construct a duchy building here? No, we don't have the right title. Never mind. This castle can certainly get upgraded, though. And this castle can also be upgraded. The city cannot at this time, but this temple can. Cool. So we're getting some good infrastructure construction going on up here. The real question is, what will that vassal war end up looking like? He will get independence, for the record. He will get independence from us. Hmm. We're apparently not his rightful liege, which is hilarious. But that's fine. Okay. So we're going to lose a few counties in this when that happens. But that might end up putting us in a better position overall. Actually, hang on. Hang on. I, I have a dumb idea? Yes, it's a dumb idea. What I was thinking about doing... is offering guardianship of this guy. Like this. So he would move to stay at our court and we'll become Magrebi. He'll accept that right now. Once he becomes independent, he almost certainly will not. That gives us a potential in because this guy is our ward. And we can maybe press his claims. I don't know. We'll see. That's going to be very interesting, but it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see how this ends up playing out. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Emlo Honey. Mlohan80, Spartan News, Nick, Nick Smarty, I apparently can't read, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisil, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.